there, this is Amy. Thanks so much for stopping by again. Tonight I am going to show you how I painted this beautiful 20 ounce wine glass. It's a red wine glass with this pretty kind of a funky little flower with green leaves and some gold dots and some gold trim around the top and the bottom. I think it turned out beautifully. I love it. Just can you imagine gifting this to someone? or serving special guests when they come to your home. Wow, just just gorgeous, I think. Anyways, this is what I start off with. I've cleaned my glass and I've actually taped around the top just to give uh, maybe about a half an inch or a little bit less of a space for you to drink from and not actually be touching your lips to the paint. Paint is non-toxic, so it should be okay even if you did, but just to be on the safe side, we're going to tape it off, try to make a, a clean uh, you know, design towards the top here as far as when you pull off the tape, it'll be a nice and clean line, or as close as we can get to that. I am base coating the glass with a warm white. It is, once again, Folk Art Enamels. I'm going to use kind of this line around the glass here, the bowl of the glass towards the bottom, the top of the top of the stem as a guideline. Now, keep in mind too that the tape is not going to really uh, totally protect it from having paint going underneath it. You can actually use like Mod Podge or something to that effect prior to painting your glass or really anything that you're working on. They have so many different forms of it nowadays that there's something for every type of surfa surface. And that's something they also, a lot of people recommend when they're doing stenciling is to go over the design before you actually paint it and that helps prevent the seepage of, of the paint from underneath the tape. But we're just going to go ahead and, and continue painting here because when I finish it off with using the gold paint around the top and the bottom that actually you know makes it look nice. Any kind of paint that pulled away or is uneven well it, it really won't matter too much. I am using my Dynasty brushes. This is from the number 71 uh, glass Art by Dynasty and I will have a link below that will tell you how to order your set. I love these brushes. If you're trying to base coat, not do you know, multi like one stroke where you're adding loading the brush with two different colors or whatever you just want a nice base coat, these are perfect. They really do help provide good coverage. I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's just the type of bristle because it's just nice and they're not real stiff, but they are definitely, definitely make a difference when you're doing a base coat. If I were to be using another type of brush, it, I would probably have to let this dry and maybe do a couple, couple base coats. Or if I were creating a design with this brush, might have to do a couple of base coats on the actual design. But you can see here, it's doing a pretty good job covering it. Now also too, it depends on the color that you're using. Some colors are more opaque than others or have more pigment to them. And that happens to be the case with the folk art enamels when you are using like the off-white or the wicker white. They tend to have uh, more of the, uh, I forgot what I just said, uh, more of the pigment. You know, if you're doing a red or something to that effect, it's going to be, it's not going to have a lot of pigment. So you probably will find yourself maybe coating it a couple times, maybe even with this, this type of brush. Now I will allow this the type of design I'm painting, I will allow this to dry. Reason being is that it's so much easier. I don't want, I really don't want the base coat to uh, bleed into or intermix with my flower. Not that I'm not using this color because I am actually using this color. 
as part of the project, but I really want my base to be dry and so that from the inside of the glass you're seeing a nice smooth and not bleeding and a mixture of the different paints and all. You're just seeing one, you know, not that you can't see the design a little bit, but you're really just seeing one, one nice color in there. Oh, I'm sorry. My Okay, so I apologize for the interruption. My dogs were down here, and if you've watched any of my other, other videos, they have a tendency to fight. They're not fighting for real, but they're playing. And they're very loud. Um, I have gone ahead and finished putting my base coat onto my glass. So what I'm gonna do now is set it aside and let it dry for a little bit before I start painting this beautiful, easy, beautiful design. I hope you're liking this this design. Tell me in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts, any ideas on other glass that you'd like me to paint, any other flowers. That would be awesome. I'd appreciate it. Okay, so now I've, I've dried the glass and I'm getting ready to go on with painting the actual design on the glass. And again, this is just a whimsical glass with, um, I don't know if you want to say it's a rose. I guess you can pretend it's whatever flower you want it to be. Really nothing in, in particular. When I did the base painting, I didn't mention earlier that I used, or maybe I did actually mention that, that I used, it's a 3 8 brush. It's the Art by Dynasty number 71. And I will have a link in, link in the bottom underneath this video with the information. Now to paint the design, actual design on the glass, I am going to be using another uh, glass art by Dynasty. It's a number 10 and it's number 72 for the brush. And I guess it would be comparable to a round brush. Alright, first I'm going to go ahead and start with magenta. The flower is made from magenta the warm white, all for folk art enamels, the fire engine red, or engine red, I guess I call it fire engine, it's what it, sorry, that's what it reminds me of is a fire engine, and wicker white. The leaves then are painted with thicket, and my favorite forest moss. Then I'm going to do the little squiggly design around the top and the base of, or it's like the, basically the top of the stem, the bottom of the bowl, which is the golden, gold, metallic gold, that's what I'm trying to say. All these are folk art enamel paints. Let's get started. The first paint I'm going to start with to do the actual flower is going to be the magenta. And I'm just single loading my brush with the magenta and I'm just going to go around the glass just making a, like, I don't know, just some basic shapes kind of squiggling around the edges I don't want the edges to be straight or you know specifically round and then just doing some wispy kind of numbers in the middle and I will just like I said keep turning the glass and adding these on as I turn and just trying to make them kind of random so they're not I hit the red. Sorry about that. All right. Yeah, you get the gist. Just kind of done a whimsical arrangement. No set pattern. And then just making sure I get some in the middle. I like to have some little, kind of like little bumps around the edges. Make it kind of look pretty. And then just kind of, like I said, just keep turning the glass, making your designs as you turn. And then if your edges aren't completely sharp, you'll go back over it. 
because we're going to be layering this with different colors. For the four different colors, basically for the floral part. And the leaves will be consistent of two colors. Alright, then I might just throw uh, just a little one in down here to fill in this space. I keep wanting to touch my brush into the red. Now when I showed you initially the glass uh, was actually cleaned and I had the tape around the top. I have, as you can tell, removed the tape around the top. All right, so then I'm going to go for my next color, and that's going. I'm not even. I'm not even cleaning my brush. Just kind of wipe some of the paint off, and I'm going to go into the warm white, and I'm just going to go around this and just do wispy kind of brush strokes. Again on this, it's the mirror thing is just to keep turning the glass and just doing some strokes throughout the, the design itself. And you can try, try to get to the edge as much as you want, or at least some of that with the original color. But this is where I'm saying, like, if you don't have a neat edge at this point, you're going to add, be, be turning it and adding color to it, so it's okay you'll get to it. You can make it look nicer as you're turning the color or turning the glass and and adding the little strokes to it. Like I said, there's just no certain pattern to it. It's just just really free little strokes that you're putting through it. And you know, you might want to watch getting the paint on too thick if you're going to bake this because you don't want the paint to actually bubble. As I've mentioned before, And this type, you actually, since you already have the base, you know, the base coat on the glass, you could actually just let it air dry. It probably would be just fine. But keep in mind, if you do that, just fine. If, but if you do that, you got to make sure you allow it time to cure before placing it in the dishwasher. Once it's dry, you can go ahead and use it. But I would recommend hand washing it just to make sure that it's dry and fully cured before you put it in the dishwasher. With the folk art enamels, it's 21 days of curing time. Whatever paint you're using, as with any paint, check the manufacturer's instructions. Make sure, first of all, that you can just air dry it because some of the glass paints do require baking while others like the folk art enamel leave it up to you. Not sure why that is. My understanding is that it actually is stronger as far as the, the paint goes if you bake it. But truly honestly I'm not really sure how how much different it would be. That's just something I've heard. So I you know I have a lot of people ask about the paint staying on the glassware and the main thing is is if you treat it like fine china which if you are treating it like fine china you might want to opt to paint it or I'm sorry wash it hand wash it as opposed to put, placing it in the dishwasher and then just you know lightly drying it and placing it back in your cupboard as with anything if you treat it nicely, you're going to get a longer wear time out of it, and you'll be able to use it longer. Right now, you know, I'm using, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but I'm using the Engine Red. This third color I'm placing on this, this flower. Like I said, I think they're cute. Just very whimsical. You could layer it with more than, than four colors too if you wanted. 
And then the last color I'm going to add to it is I'm going to go back in, or not back in, but go in with some white. Kind of define it a little bit more with the white. I love them. I think they're fun. Just a fun glass. Simple, fun. It would be nice if I kept sticking my paintbrush in the right the right color would be awesome. I would love to hear your comments. If you like my videos, please, 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 please subscribe, share, give me a big thumbs up. Painted glass is fun and easy. What a great gift it makes. As you can see, you have holiday times coming up here. Hate to mention that, but here in the near future. And they'll be here before you know it. You might want to consider doing some painted glassware for gifts this Christmas. Alright, I think we're, we're done with this part. Well, like I said, you could keep going, maybe and go back in and add some more of the pink to the top, but I'm not going to do that for the purpose of this video. Now I am going to go ahead and wash my brush. I'm going to be starting with green next. And I, you know, I don't really want the pink in there, but, um, you know, if you don't mind, you can add the pink. And these are going to just be simple little petals. And they're basically just kind of drawn on. And you can make them just kind of rounded. You can have a pointed tip on the end. I don't know why, what's happening here. A pointed tip on the end or have them rounded or vary them. I am using the thicket and the forest moss which are those, my, those are my favorite combos for leaves and just simple, just adding the two colors. I am so sorry, I keep floating off the screen. I'm sorry about that. Keep uh, adding the two colors. Like that. Keep turning. You wanna to try to make sure that you get leaves connected to all the flowers. Because sometimes it's kind of hard when you're filling them in. There's not a whole lot of space. You might forget to actually add one to a flower. You might kind of be up against it, but it's not actually for that specific flower. I'll tell you, I have the noisiest animals. Now my cat is trying to find me. I've been out of town and came back this afternoon. Now he's crying. So I apologize. It's just like, I never can win. I love my animals though. Miss my animals when I'm gone. Not really a really good traveler. I like to go away for short little trips and then be back between my animals and my family. It's just kind of a no-win situation because I miss them all so much while I'm gone. And you know, some of these dead spaces like this, there's quite a bit of space. You know, fill, in, fill it in with some leaves. This is the perfect location to do that with. Chuck, chuck. Yes. 
So keep in mind too, uh, I like to try to mention this, if you are going to to bake your glassware, make certain that you're placing it in a cold oven, then start preheating it. Turn the oven on, add your preheat time to the bake time. Mine happens to be a 20 minute preheat, so my glassware is in there for 50 minutes. And then I turn the oven off, I don't touch the glass, I just leave it in there allow it to cool and then bring it out sudden room temperature change or sudden change I guess to the glass not necessarily room temperature that's what can cause it to break and trust me after working hard on your design painting it there's nothing that would be more discouraging than bringing it out too soon and having it break right there in front of you so don't make that mistake it's not a good one to make like I said, you can see that I'm just randomly placing these, these leaves. You don't have to do two together. You can just do one if you want. I don't know, for some reason when I'm doing these, I kind of like to have two together if possible. But if there's not enough room, don't do it. Don't worry about it. It's okay. You don't have to. Like I said, I just like to try to get some fun, easy, easy videos, glass painting videos out to people so that it's not so discouraging that people think, well, I can't do that. Sure you can. Anybody can. If you can pick up a paintbrush, you can make it happen. And you can also, with your designs, go into the, the actual flower if you want. I'm just trying not to do that because I really like them on the outside of the flower right now with this design. But it's okay. Like this one's going a little bit in there because I really wanted to get another flower or another leaf in there. Excuse me. And you can just turn your glass too and just check out the leaves if you like this one's kind of bothering me. I want it to be a little cleaner on the end. So I'm just going to work with it a little bit and do that. This is such a fun pattern too. Like I said, you could do your flowers in different colors. If you want to make specific, you know, shapes, make a different shape for the flower. I think you could use the same technique really on any flower that you wanted to do. It would probably be perfect. And if you want to do more shading on your 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 leaves, you know, go for it. Have at it. Have at it, as I always say. Yeah, do what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy. I didn't come back like that even. Yeah, gloss painting is not for is not rocket science. That's for sure. That is for certain. thing like I said with doing this is that the yeah this is such a cheap item to create for somebody but it's also a very nice gift idea it's not something that's really like chintzy where you think oh gosh I'm not gonna you know they're not gonna want this people love these as gifts especially with you know people entertaining so much in society now I mean it's just it's people love them so it's definitely a great idea for the up you know coming out holidays really it's never too early to get started especially if you are making gifts for people you know why not get started get a heads up 
maybe the holiday season is more enjoyable for you as opposed to stressful. Now you can just turn your glass, see if there's any place you want to add. I think on this one I'm not really happy with the end of this leaf, so I'll make it a little bit pointier. And I am going to leave it at this for right now. You know, it's really up to you. As I always say, if you're happy with it, then go for it. So now I'm going to take my bottle of the metallic gold and I'm just going to try to just randomly go around this top. And I'm not trying to make any specific pattern with it. Sorry. I a new camera thinking I'd stay on the, stay on the uh, thing better and, and keep floating down. I do apologize. Okay, so I'm just going to go around this. And it just gives it a fun. You know, this one in particular might have been okay without doing this. The other one was a little bit more rigid. But I've actually put the tape on these glasses prior to going on vacation. And I base coated the other one before I left. And I'm going through doing this one too. And so it was a little rougher. Kind of like to get the tape off sooner than later, not leave it on too long. But you can easily clean the tape off. Now I'm just going to go through here, dab on some dots. I think this kind of gives it a nice little finishing touch. I'd like to hear what you have to say about this. Let me know if you like this design, if you find that it would be easy to do. Again, if you haven't already done it, if you like my channel, please subscribe to it. Give me a big thumbs up. Share this with anyone that you think might be interested. And I will see you for the next video. Thanks again for stopping by. Let me know if you have any questions. And until the next video, have a good one.